Okay, check this out. It's your boy. We back at you again here this morning giving it to you. We got the book, Must Be Me. I'm your author. I'm Chris Jackson. I'm here for y'all. I got a little treat for y'all today. So I'll be, you know, just surfing the web, internet, all kinds of stuff, YouTube. And early in the mornings is, you know, that's my time, God and me. When we, I go walking, we talk, we converse, we have some most amazing conversations. So this morning, what he let me see was this, that, um, when I'm walking down the street, he said, just pay attention to everything. So I start paying attention to everything. He's like, he said, you got to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in his word. So the thing was, I was paying attention to the trees. And what I recognized is that I wasn't looking at the tree itself, not the stature. I wasn't looking at the leaves or the branches. Or I was looking at the ground, at the roots. And what I was understanding is that fear won't let you get rooted. And I want y'all to hear me when I say this again. Fear won't allow you to be rooted in something that's going to progress you, that's going to build you, that's going to grow you. See, when you plant a tree in the wrong place, if your roots are not going and they can't spread, they can't grow, the tree will never reach maturity. Have you ever noticed some trees don't get as big as others? You notice like trees in a park are way bigger than a lot of trees that you see on the street sometimes, right? Because their roots aren't able to spread like they want to. They aren't able to progress and they aren't able to grow. So with that being said, Fear is something that's going to keep you from growing. I hope y'all hear me. I want y'all to say this one more time with me. Fear will keep you from growing. Do not let that stop your roots from being planted and rooted and growing because they can only spread out. The farther they spread, the stronger you become. The more sturdier you become, the more found Thank you. See, my shot not now had to tell me something. Thank you, Willie Mo. He had to, you know, that's, the, that's where I got that from. That's my man's now. See, your shot now will help you see something because what it is, the deeper you're rooted, the more grounded you are, the easier it is to stand fast when times like this come, when things come against you, when everybody want to talk bad about you and it seems like the whole world is against you. Hey, look, you got to stay grounded. You got to stay rooted. You got to trust in what's going on in the process. If you know that you want to do something, if you know how you want to do it, put it up in prayer, leave it there, start doing it. Because a lot of times we sit back and we'll be like... God ain't said nothing yet. It's all quiet. Ain't nobody said the thing is. Sometimes he's like, he said, faith without works is dead. So if you believe him for it, why aren't you working on accomplishing? Like with me, like with this book, this book for y'all information, this book here was written back in 2014. I stagnated for four years before I even attempted to even just get the book edited. Once I got it edited and realized, he started opening doors for me for with my my, uh, my Olivia Pope. That's my niece. I call her my Olivia Pope. Shout out to Micho's World, Micho the Don. That's my photography man who do video, who edits everything out. You know, that's my team that God blessed me with. But the thing is, he put people in place to be a blessing to me because I finally started moving into the gift I have. Like me speaking this here on this camera because I'm understanding things, not because I'm greater, because I'm not, because I'm smart, but because... He's allowed me to see so many different things in my life. He's allowed me to endure so many things in my life. I've been on top. I've been on the bottom right now. It's not about being in the middle. It's about being where I need to be. Right now, I'm in front of this camera, not just because of me, but for you. See, a lot of times when I'm talking to y'all and I'm talking about fear, I have to think about the fears that I've overcame. I think about the position that I was allowed myself to be in that put me where I would have been fearful, where I would have been hurt. Or something could have hindered me. So I'm telling you, you got to really pay attention to what's going on in your life. Right now, don't look at this little money that they want to give you. Look at what you're going to do that will be greater than that. Because it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. So if you're going after God first, what can't you have? And this is what my Shana told me earlier too while I was on the walk this morning. He said, there's a whole lot of people living, but there's a whole lot of people existing. Now, let's know the difference. Living for you may be you taking care of your family, enjoying your kids. And not about extravagant trips, it's not about having the most luxurious items or things or precious jewels. It's about being able to spend time with them, about instilling wisdom and knowledge in them, about imputing into them things that are going to be worthwhile, that are going to make them better adults, make them better people, so they can go out about life they want to. Don't get it twisted. I got several children, and they all different compatible. I love them all, but I love them all differently because I know how to love them. I have to learn how to love them, greet them where they are. So I want y'all to hear this real quick. Real quick real quick. No matter what's going on, no matter what be happening, 
What he has taught me is that I gotta smile anyway. During the storm, during the rain. See, the thing about it, we get in the storm and we get scared. My thing is when it starts raining, I just gear up. If I gotta put on a hat, if I gotta put on galoshes, if I gotta put on glasses, whatever coat, whatever rain jacket I need, but I'm gonna keep moving. The problem is don't let nothing stop you from moving. Whether it's snow, sleep, rain, that individual who say that you ain't gonna make it, that person that, uh, well, if I was you, you know what I mean? And then somebody told me, you all, this is the thing I had to bring out too. Thank you, Lord. People will tell you, sometimes you gotta watch out for the people who wanna help you with your ideas. Well, if you gotta watch out for the person who wants to help you with your ideas, then why are you allowing them in your life? Everything is for a reason. This time right now, for us to get closer to God, become whom He wants us to be, become the people He will for us to be, you gotta smile even during the storm, because it takes way less muscle to smile than it does to frown. A frown is something that can bring it down and bring all different back muscles and, and, and nerves in, in your face to bring it down and make you look mad. But when you smile, it's such a simple thing to do, and we don't want to do it. And the crazy part is, it's so easy to do, then we need to do it on a regular basis, man. So I want y'all to get up this morning. I want y'all to smile. I want y'all to believe in yourself. Whatever idea you have, implement it. Whatever thought you have, start acting on it. Start moving. So, okay, God, I'm giving it to you. I'm believing it. But I'm going to move. I ain't going to sit here. I ain't going to be lazy all day. I'm going to do something with myself. Do something with yourself. I'm telling y'all, just quit being so passive, man. Sometimes we can sit back and just be so mundane and wonder what, why we ain't went nowhere. Because you ain't got off the boat. You remember we talked about Peter? We talked about them 11 sitting there. Don't be them 11. Be Peter. Just real life. I'm just being handy. It, it was 12 of them. They fishermen. They all been in the same storm before. They know this is part of their livelihood. They knew what it was like. But he was the only one actually willing to get out the boat. Take a risk sometimes. Don't take the illegal risk and go to prison and do things. But like, I, I understand all that. I've been there. It ain't, it ain't the Lord's work. You don't want to be there. It's not his. It's not his. I rebuke that. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Listen, go ahead. Take that risk and do what you need to do for you. But till again, hey, it must be me. What? It must be me. This for you must be me. Again, this is to help you help you. Much love. Peace.